good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back again with another video. So, today is November the 8th, 2021. This is the day I'm filming this video. And Roman Reigns has been the Universal Champion for 434 days. Now, that number is synonymous with another wrestler who is the WWE Champion for 434 days. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up because I've actually heard people, you know, bring up this particular topic. I'm sure you guys have as well. Who was the better champion or who is the better champion? If we compare CM Punk's legendary WWE title reign to Roman Reigns' universal title reign, who, who is the better, who has the better title reign? And this is something I've had to really think about. It's not something I can just instantly give an answer because both of them are, you know, I can't say, you know, CM Punk is not in WWE, but both of them are legendary. Um, even though Roman Reigns obviously will break that record and will, I'm not sure how long he'll have it, but there's a good chance he will have it for uh, quite some time since they're letting go of all their potential talent that could take the title from him so i don't know who could take the title from him outside of brock but that's a, another conversation for another day i will say this it is one of those things where it's like i think it, it it depends on your preference it depends on the situation once again that was a different time period in wrestling it may not seem so long ago but it was and i don't know it, it's it's kind of tough for me um both title reigns definitely elevated the wrestler's character. We all know the infamous pipe bomb. Without that pipe bomb happening, I don't think CM Punk has this legendary title reign. Without him really feeling frustrated and Vince McMahon letting him just go off the cuff, I don't think we have this title reign. I don't think that it works nowadays. Vince McMahon is not going to let you go off the cuff as much. But it's just crazy to know that him wanting to leave got him that belt because he became the hottest thing in wrestling. CM Punk was the hottest thing in wrestling. This, that's, that's a fact. Y'all know he is one of the reasons. He's actually the main reason why I even started watching wrestling again. Because at this point, I stopped watching wrestling. So he brought me back with that pipe bomb and I was instantly hooked on his character and what he was doing and what he was bringing to the show he had some pretty good title defenses i will say this his title reign probably would be a little bit better for me if they hadn't had him drop it to alberto del rio alberto del rio cashed in the money in the bank on him and then i believe kevin nash got in the mix it was it was unnecessary i think they should have had him hold the belt for money in the bank until it was time to drop the belt when he won it at money in the bank from john cena that's when the title reign should have begun he shouldn't have lost it to alberto and then got it back again that's my personal opinion that's how i always felt i think they dropped the ball on that that's just my personal opinion on it i think it would have been just better if it was just a complete title uh title reign but I'm not gonna lie to you it it was it was one of those title reigns you definitely will remember for just the fact that people were watching it people were interested you know at the first half he was a face and then the second half he became a heel and people were seeing if anyone could get the job done y'all remember the little soggy he had with Ryback when they were pushing him to the moon like people were really watching to see will he finally lose and it, it wasn't until he lost to The Rock, which we kind of saw a mile away because um, they weren't going to have The Rock lose. And then that's when they changed the belt from the spinner belt to the belt we have now. But um, we're a variation of what we have now. But overall, for me personally, I think it's, it's definitely one of the most legendary title reigns in WWE history. And that is without a fact. And then you got Roman Reigns here. Roman Reigns, I think what works for his massive title reign is the simple fact that this is what the fans have been wanting oh so long. This is what we've wanted since he started giving us these cringe promos back in the day. 
this is what we wanted we wanted a character change and he has been doing the best work in his career i'm gonna be honest with you if it wasn't for the whole covid situation and him leaving because he he didn't want to you know you know potentially get himself compromised you know with the the covid going around him leaving was the best decision because he didn't come back the same guy he came back different and it's crazy how this certain decisions change the landscape of wrestling and well in, in wwe cm punk's decisions of potentially leaving changed everything Roman Reigns' decision for leaving due to COVID reasons didn't want to, you know, get his family. I believe he uh, had a newborn child. He didn't want to, you know, put them at risk. He was thinking about himself more than WrestleMania. Him doing that, coming back, like, I forgot how many months later. It was like maybe three, four months, five months. I'm not sure. It was, it was a decent amount of time. He wasn't on television. Him coming back with a whole new character change and just this new attitude, new persona, perfect. Just one decision can change a wrestler's career, and it ultimately has. This has been some of the best work Roman Reigns has done inside the ring, best work he's done promo-wise, best work he's done character-wise. He is somebody that people care about, especially on SmackDown. He has revitalized SmackDown by himself, and you cannot deny that. Most people only watch SmackDown to see what Roman's going to do. So... If I had to choose, and this is a really tough one for me, if I had to choose, me personally, I feel like there's really no wrong answer here. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. So uh, <laughs> please don't come at me if I don't choose the person you think. Oh, man. If I had to choose the better title reign for me personally, it, I'm, I'm going to give the slightest edge, slightest edge to CM Punk. And the reason being is kind of where I said at, uh, earlier. He was one of the main reasons I even got back into wrestling. And to see this, to see those epic promos, to see how those pretty good matches, not all the matches were good, but for the most part, he had some pretty good matches. To see that happen, and I'm watching every week, I have to give it, I have to give it to CM Punk. Just a slight edge. Just a slight edge. And Roman Reigns is still the champ. So Roman Reigns could, you know, potentially really ramp it up. You know what I'm saying? And in these next few months, depending on how they book him and stuff like that. Um, but honestly, right now, I, I'm going to give the edge just to CM Punk only because he was the main reason I even got back into wrestling. And I enjoyed his title reign. I even enjoyed his heel work. He was, you know, you just wanted to see him get his ass kicked. It was great. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it for what it was. And I do think his was just slightly better. Just slightly better only because of what he was able to get away with. Like what he was able to say. What he was able to do. The, the people that he brought back. Uh, you know like it, it just worked it wasn't a situation of oh well we were tired of CM Punk and then he became over because of a character change that's pretty much what happened with Roman we were tired of what WWE was forcing down our throat with Roman he got a character change and he became over and not to diminish his title reign it's still fantastic but I'm gonna have to give the slight edge just the slight edge to CM Punk I enjoyed this title reign and it brought me back to wrestling so, comment down below. This is going to be a crazy one. I know it is. Comment down below. Who do y'all feel like has the better title reign? Is it Roman Reigns as the Universal Champion? Or is it CM Punk when he was the champion for 434 days? Who do y'all feel title reign was the, is the, was the better version? I know Roman's is still going, so... You know, we still have time to see where his goes and where, where they take his story. But as of just, if it ended today, 434 days for Roman, 434 days for CM Punk, who is the better title reign in your opinion? Nobody's answer is wrong. Please don't get toxic in the comment section. We're just all here to discuss what reasons we enjoy 
uh, CM Punk's and Roman Reigns' title reign better than the other. That's it. So comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this. Appreciate all the love. Sport Road 2. 6K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.